Hello, hello, hello. It's your girl Dazzle Me 77. I am back with another video. And of course, this part of the video is just kind of like a little preface of what you guys will see. Um, I just wanted to say welcome back to all of my subscribers, to those of you that are new. I welcome you so very much. I thank you guys that still watch but have not yet subscribed. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button. It's not going to cost you a thing. So today I thought I would share with you guys some of the progress I've made in my closet. All right, you guys. So first of all, I probably won't show you guys all of my closet. I'll show you parts of it that I feel like are complete. And plus, I don't want to be on camera. So <clears throat> my actual closet, this right here is actually like the master quote unquote closet. But when we built our house years ago in 2010, we had this room built onto our house knowing that I wanted a really big closet. And so I've just had the time to work on it. And so what I did with the existing closet, I made it kind of like a sitting room. Um, so you see up there, I did get a chandelier put in, which I love. Um, I just have a little bit of wall art. I love lions and tigers and the such. A little bonsai tree. Um, just faith it till you make it. Then if y'all see here, now this, some of this stuff I'm going to move around. Um, I'm kind of doing this as damage control. These are all my Bath & Body Works products that are overstocked. And I put them here because I use this bench to get ready. Like, I just sit down and chill. Okay? I will show you the other part of this in a minute. But this bench, I love it goes with the color but also i get to store all my flip-flops so all my flip-flops that aren't in boxes i was like what better way to store them and keep them out of the way than inside of here this is going to be a quick overview you guys um down here i just have a lazy susan and i have some of my favorite bath and body work sprays on here on the bottom shelf i have some oils of course, a Dior box, a piggy bank, just some decor. And this stuff right here from Victoria's Secret smells so good, but it just doesn't last long. Um, I got my coach, my perfume. I absolutely love, I think I'm as far as back as I can. I love all my perfumes and I love being able to have them all on display because this is just kind of like where I sit to get ready um, in the morning or you know just whatever so this is the view from this side so on the other side of the closet um, I have my shoes on my rack and then I kept sneakers in there Okay, so this is kind of like the entry to the bigger closet. So I like it. I like how it came out. So now we're inside of the bigger closet. Again, I'm only going to show you guys bits and pieces because I am not finished. But inside of there, I have my Neo Noe. I have my Graceful. Um, I think inside of there is my Coach Backpack 24 my Louis Vuitton wallet and Chanel. It's some wipes, I think. And then my newer, newest baby, my Gucci wallet. Um, one of the things that I really wanted, and that's just a nice, cute dresser that I had to go with the decor in this closet. But um, one of the things that I have a problem with is when I am switching bags, I have so much stuff. And sometimes the stuff just gets tossed away or I just never use it again. So what I did was inside of here, I essentially have, when I switch out my bags, I can just come here when I have surplus items. So this first little basket is like all things dealing with key rings, uh, key pouches, things of that nature. This over here is stuff that I might take out of my bag that is dealing with like sanitary stuff, wet wipes, that. 
This right here, as you can see, is packed. But these are like perfumes and stuff of that nature, lip glosses that I've taken out of my bag, but I haven't put into the place where they really belong. And then over here, this is like a lot of little pouches and miscellaneous things that I will use. And so what this does is help me not have such a mess when I'm switching my bags. And my girl Tawana, she knows that I am obsessed with my cuticles. And she sent me that earlier this week in friend mail. And so girl, I appreciate it. Um, in this other drawer, I travel a lot, especially during football season. So I always keep me an airplane. Notice I said airplane. I always keep me an airplane bag packed. And then the rest of these, um, some of them are already packed with their little cases that I carry with me. Inside here has my little stand that I'm using now to record on. And then in this bottom, I just have boxes and miscellaneous gifts that people give me and some hats. So this little dresser serves as like a, I don't know, just kind of keeping my purse dump out clean. Now, I know y'all are thinking, why does she have a trash can in here? So this trash can isn't just a trash can. What I do is keep all my paper stuffing, air pillows, and things of that nature in here. So when I'm stuffing my bags, I can just get it from here and it doesn't look so bad. I have it sitting on top of this. Um, these are some of my inspired pieces, the boxes. And then inside of here, I have Juicy Couture stuff, Daisy Rose, more inspired pieces. And then, I think in there it's Juicy Couture too, okay? So that's that little setup right there. Now, this is the part of my closet that I'm most happy with. And believe it or not, I have looked at uh, so many different things and ways to organize my items but i promise y'all totes have made me so happy um but i wanted to find a nice way to store my totes again this closet is huge um again i'm only going to show you guys part of it but i do have my organization down pat I am going to eventually get this built out, but right now, when I tell you I am so happy, I am so happy, and I just want to share with you my organization. So if you look on top right here, this, this very top container right here contains no name brand pouches that are small. So my pencil pouches, my kiss lock pouches, things of that nature. This one right here, I'm probably going to change because as you can see, I don't really have a lot in there, but these are all my plastic pouches that I use for like sanit uh, my hand sanitizer wipes, things of that nature. This right here, this is filled with bags that um, I just really love don't particularly belong to any brand or anything like that and you guys trust me this is a process because at first i was going to invest in the ikea stuff but i did not know how it was going to work in my space and so what i've done to make sure that i don't overspend is i've kind of set up set this up to see how i like it and i'm going to have a contractor come and build out what i want um but these are just i put a lot of work into just getting good temporary pieces so i can see if the feel of the closet is going to work to meet my needs. Um, this container right here, love it, love it, love it. I have all my Dooney & Burke products, all my Dooney & Burke SLGs. This one is all of my Coach SLGs. And then this bottom is like book bags and heavier totes. So I love that. So if you come over here, 
this right here is all my electronic stuff, cords, things of that nature. This is stuff for my Apple Watch and for my iPhone. These are all Victoria's Secret SLGs and pieces. These right here are inspired pieces and card cases. So all my card cases and things of that nature go in here. Um, this container right here contains all of my keychains and purse charms. This container here contains my poofs and my scarves for my bags. This right here is my fingernail polish and things that I need for that. This is for my manicure. So all of my stuff like fingernail polish remover, clips, cotton balls, things of that nature. This is my 31 pouch container. I have a lot of 31. I love them. So I put stuff in there. Um, I do have a couple of inspired pieces in there from LV. Um, this right here is like stuff that I use on my nails. I do think I have some um, nail extensions in here, whatever they're called, nail tips. And then in here, more stuff for my cell phone. This right here are all of my pouches that don't belong to Dooney, Coach, or any name like that. So all my cute pouches that I might get are here. This container on the bottom has all of my Coach, uh, MK, all of my designer bags that I don't have on display. And those are just some scrub shoes that I have. Okay, so this is what I used. And you guys, I had a different type of rack in here at first, but I love these. I mean, they are amazing. I actually got these from Lowe's and they look so good in here. So I really think that I'm gonna keep this set up, but I'm gonna get someone who has like a Cricut to make these pretty. Um, I'm thinking I'm gonna put some um, decorative paper in here and label everything. And so you guys, I want you to know that, honestly, when you're redoing your closet, I don't know. I'm not just looking at how fabulous or how all of that's going to look. I need functionality. And I will promise you, since I have separated my pieces, I find that I am using all of my items so much more. So, so much more. Um, but yeah, that works. Okay, and I'm going to show you one more thing. So down here, I have a container, and it just has all kind of wallets in it. And I think I've done a video on that before, and I can link that. Um, this right here are all my extra dust bags, and these are like weave and hair stuff down there. So yeah, I'm loving this setup, you guys. So also in my closet, I have these little things set up. Um, in here, y'all, don't judge me. Don't judge me. I have all this paparazzi jewelry, and I think these are earrings. Um, I think I need to start passing them out as giveaways because I have so many. And I'm just going to show y'all something real quick. Look at all of my rings. These are um, paparazzi rings. I don't know if you guys have heard of paparazzi but I just love their jewelry. It's really cute. It's $5. It's affordable and it lasts really long. Um, so in the second drawer, more paparazzi, but these are bracelets um, and necklace sets that I haven't used yet. Um, down here, more paparazzi bracelets. Those are wrap bracelets. And this one, I have all my extra wet ones, Clorox wipes, things of that nature. I like to keep everything organized, as y'all can see. Um, and then down here, I have all of my travel pieces that I might need. So I don't have to go to the store every time we get ready to take a trip. And then, and this last one, I have all my travel items and small pieces dove bath and body works body fantasies just all kind of stuff so i hope you guys have enjoyed this um 
I've done some more work, but I don't want to show you guys that part yet. Um, and as y'all can see, these are still framed up. I haven't even taken them out of the frame. But all of this is just temporary placement. I wanted to see if I liked the setup before I actually had the contractor come in and build this out. And I really haven't decided if I want to build it out or just leave it alone for right now. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video and me sharing a piece of my obsession with you. Um, it's definitely been a blessing to have this outlet to share our love for bags. So remember, 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 be good to others, but be even better to yourself because we cannot pour from an empty cup. Bye-bye.